Uh, wrapping up a great weekend of the Jim Ken Classic here at Riverside with the title matches of tonight's JVT event. Matt Corrin's taking on Liam Hardman. Matt just came off 279 on this pair with a solid eight as the only miss. And things are not going the same way here as he's opened in the third and he's likely to open here with this 4-9 to have to shoot at in the eighth frame. Still got a decent game going. The problem is Liam can't be bowling any better. The one-time winner has the front seven strikes. Looking to join one of our more elite clubs with a JBT 300 in the title match. There's been about 10 of them over the years. I don't think we've ever had one in the Northwest. Liam has one career title. It's over Mac last month in Portland. Looking for eight. Oh, no. We're bowling on Route 66. That ball got a little left and floated in the puddle and didn't recover in time. And all the hands go up. You gotta love it. You shoot front seven in a scratch title match, and this is what he gets for it. A bunch of hands in the air. Unbelievable. I love you. Now remember, if he makes this, you owe him a drink, and I want you all to pay up. I broke you, sorry. Let's go. That's a root beer, that's a Diet Pepsi, that's a Coke, that's another root beer, that's a Manischewitz, no, okay, there we go. Thanks. Great turnout from another busy weekend here. Thanks so much to Chris and the team for having us, as always, as we remember a great man in Jimmy Kent. Uh, Liam is well on his way to doubling his career title total. He was in that conversation, oh wow. <laughs> He was in that conversation of best bowlers on tour that haven't had a title. He finally got off the schneid with that win at the Kingpins. And as often happens, you win that first one and all of a sudden you start winning them in bunches. And that may well be the case here for Liam. We're still early on in the season. Every point matters as these guys will be fighting all season long for titles and money and plaques. Trying to get into that top five for all-star team. Bowler of the year, lots of stuff on the line here. I've seen that a couple times today as the bowler would throw a great game and it was uh, hard to maintain the look. Case in point, this guy blasted 250 to win the U17. I believe his direct quote was, I have 20 boards of miss room, correct? Can you verify that? I, I verify that quote. And yeah. then chose the next pair for the next round to survive, and it didn't go so well. So that's all right. So it's great to win that. Piper Chalmers swept the girl scratch, beating Avery twice. Beating Avery once is hard to do these days. Beating There she is. Beating Avery twice is really hard to do. The handicap title match is just getting going over there. It's Sawyer Jones taking on uh, Eddie Strange for the title there. They're just finishing out the string. Mac will wrap up at 181. Doesn't really matter much there. As Liam put it in cruise control. And his dad's beloved Detroit Lions <laughs> won a football game. So the Hardman household is just on fire right and now. Michigan and Michigan won. It's all coming up Hardman. Zing! That's one way to get the five pin out. I hate when they raise their hand for the five pins and there's no consequence if they make it. There's no point in doing it if there's not going to be a transaction at the end of the end of the deal there. Oh, a little lefty action. That's all right here. Yeah! There you go. The ambidextrous one claims a second career title. Nicely done. Stay tuned, we should have a good finish, I hope, over Ian Handicap. In fact, don't go to part two, we're just going to keep it right here. Now, the handicap difference in this match is three. Sawyer has to beat Eddie by three to tie four to win. They're early on, Sawyer went double open, while Eddie's got a chance at a third straight spare. One thing to watch in this match is that, unfortunately, Eddie has fouled a bunch this weekend, and we would love for him not to foul one more time. Does cover the spare up though. Charles finished. Charles Trevathan, who's now got the nickname Bounce, finished fourth. Anybody who's seen him, well knows why. 
while uh, Caden Walters had his career high finish in third. I'm going to go give them their play. Yeah. There he is, non bounce. I'm not, I'm not, I was right. By far, right? Yeah, I mean, I've made a by I Yeah, but I lost first match. Outstanding job, this year's Don't blame you one bit, Mama. <laughs> there you go. I'm not even here. That's right. There's bounce. Three in a row. Dang, bro. Second place in a row. You're joining a uh, time honored tradition. Uh, I think Cortez's hair turned gray prematurely with so many seconds in a row. It happens. That means you're making title matches. Uh, so Eddie has one career title back at uh, West Seattle last year. We're going there again this March. Looking forward to it. Not only a three pin match, but early on, Jones has gone double. Ooh. Double open, double. <laughs> Jump into the lead. As there's a nice shot from Eddie. I thought Eddie's mom tripped right on camera, but she she was just duck, trying to duck out of the way. Now I get her on camera anyway. Her boy just got a best shot of the match there with the strike in the fifth. We're about a half hour south of Canada today. We go a half hour north of Mexico next weekend to Tucson as the tour continues to roll on. Pretty close. Yeah. Longer pattern, even after a, a day of this long competition, will still uh, have its effect. Well, got to the break point okay, but just didn't quite have enough oomph to carry out the light hit. Makeable split. Have the ball to flex from the two into the seven. You can drive the two pin itself into the seven. He's going to try the former and uh, oh, get super lucky as the ball cup in comes back off the back end and takes out the seven. That would be the third way to do it. Well done, Eddie. Yes, he did. The Sawyer Boulder first tournament earlier this season tried scratch and went oof. Switched over to Handicap and has done great in her uh, last couple. Narrowly missing the, the title match in Beaverton and now here making the title match in Mount Vernon. But wide right again this time. So she's gone double oops, double oops. But this is a, a sparable oops. Oh, one, two, four, oh, one, two, eight, ten, wash out. Let's try and slide over for a better view here. Open in the sixth. Sure. There we go, a little more head on. Thank you, ladies. Stands on the scoreboard. She trails by 11 and is giving three more back beyond that. Much more makeable spare at the five minute. And Eddie's hand goes up instead of 35 people in the crowd. 
Liam's five pin is a little more surprising than uh, than that one right there. <laughs> Great. Hunter Bain is the last 300 in a title match. That Liam had a crack out of there. He will happily take home the largest plaque we got. You still haven't gotten rid of all those donuts? Do you want one? No, 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 no. That wasn't a request. I, was, I, I thought you were asking. No, that was not a, a backhanded request. No, no. <laughs> Extra little uh, spark in my voice as compared to yesterday. Your beloved Tampa Bay Buccaneers are now back in first place. Three and five, uh, four and five, baby, right? Four and five. Let's go. Yes, I will. I will admit I'm a bad fan. Both Mike Wilcox and I gave up after the fourth down. And then uh, Kenji's dad came at me. I thought he might be like pulling a Kenji's dad and giving me like a fake picture of a <laughs> win. But it was the real thing. Yeah. Both are surprised. Shot. I told you. I don't care. I got money off of Ken's walker. That's all that matters. <laughs> Nice spare from Eddie. He's got 116 through 6 now. So again, consolidates that 10 pin lead plus the 3 more on the scoreboard. When Eddie started these tournaments about a year and a half ago, he was just a ball of excitement. Now, he's just a ball of excitement. <laughs> he bounces. He doesn't bounce like Charles, but I mean, uh, he metaphorically just bounces all over the place. Obviously loves the game, works hard at it. Stays behind the line again, but does not quite break up that split. These are twister pins. I don't know how well you can hear the actual pinfall here, but you know, it's they got that very distinctive plasticky sound to it. And they act a little bit differently than, than wooden pins. Sometimes can spin around and break up splits. You might not otherwise break up, but not enough love this time, and he'll have to get super lucky to break, uh, make this one. Gets the one, that's smart. You never know if that pin account will come into play. And an opportunity here yet again for Jones. She's shown, she has shown she can strike, say that fast. It's what she does in the in-between frames that might tell the difference here. the big break with the Brooklyn. Doing a close uh, round of eight match against Haley Lennox where they're kind of like mirror images of each other. Uh, Haley switched from two-handed back to one-handed. Well, Sawyer has adopted that two-hand style. It's uh, growing in popularity among the girls, too. I already say the boys do probably 50% two-handers. Whether you like it, monsters or not, and uh, no reason the girls can't do it too. It's it's really more about timing than it is big brute strength. And all I have to say to that is Do and Quan. If you think it's about strength, yeah, everybody up in these parts know who he is. Coming a nationwide name as well. Unable to get the double here. She'll lead by three. And that's exactly the handicap difference she given. So if she can convert this 129, we'll be tied after eight and a half frames. If they're tied after 10 frames, we'll go to a two frame roll off. Because you know what? Why not? We've been here for 96 hours anyway. We might as well stay here for two more frames as well. Close. Yeah, she got it. This is only like six hours north of most people's houses here. They're just still hanging around. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Alright Eddie, come on, what you can do here? Ninth frame, working on an open. Oh, stay behind that line. He does, and Dan gets them all to mix up, yes. Family says all the way every pin, that's absolutely right. Didn't have to worry about count on that, and now he sets himself up where he doesn't have to worry about count on this ball either. In a dead tied match, that means everything. 
no one's really done anything wrong on their uh, fill balls. Let's see what Eddie's got here in the tub. I get it. <laughs> All right, makeable spare here. He's got it. He's got it. Yes. Excellent clutch spare in the tenth, and this is a vitally important fill ball because it's Sawyer working on the spare. So count is everything on this fill ball right here. If he strikes on this ball, Sawyer must strike to stay alive. He did this at Seattle too. He came up with some clutch shots at the very, very end, and that was ginormous. Sawyer must strike on this ball to stay alive. If she goes strike spare, we are tied and we'll go to a roll off. If she doubles, she wins the tournament in regulation. I'm just happy Eddie stayed behind the foul line because I did not want that to come into play. That would have been terrible if that had been the case. So Sawyer can strike, she must do it right here. I have to be Brooklyn. Oh, the wraparound pin does not happen. But she is going to fall just a couple pins short. And I am glad I'm not going to take Eddie home because he is going to be bouncing off the car, out the window, waving his plaque down the I-5. He might be bouncing more than Charles after all. Wow, what a great match, though, between both of these bowlers. So close all the way. Ah! Well, at least you didn't have to have that spare at that point. And a great handicap title match to wrap it up. Your runner-up, this is her career high finish on her very young career. Give her a nice hand, Sawyer. Your handicap champion comes up clutch in the ninth and the tenth with the shots he needs to win his second career JBT title, Eddie Strange. Thanks for sticking around and cheering on. Be sure to check out the website, YouTube, and Facebook. Finalists, I'll meet you over by the banner for some pictures. Please travel safely on your way to your next stop. We want to see you guys again real soon. May we meet again and uh, give a little clap to the Cat family to see you again, huh? See you next time.